Hello, hello, and welcome, or should I say ho, 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 Chris's cousin, I'm Cousin Chad. And I'm Cousin Seth. Cousin Seth. <laughs> and I am not going cross-eyed. <laughs> trying to, like, I don't know, merge different screens or split them in half. I don't know what I was doing, but I think I got it under control now. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, what Seth was doing, Cousin Seth, to you all, uh, Cousin Seth is um, pulling up the article for what we're doing on today's episode, which is previewing week two of the Hallmark Countdown to Christmas movies. I'm very excited. Yes, and Seth is so excited. Seth, you're so excited you didn't even have the article. You wanted to be surprised at the end, which I love. So, yeah, Especially after a, uh, an amazing kickoff weekend last weekend. Yeah, great Uh, couple movies. But Seth, before we go into it, really quickly, for those of you who don't know, I'm Cousin Chad, Mm -hmm. and this podcast is because I love the holiday. You knew that. Oh, okay. (laughs) Yeah, that's it. It's been a great episode. Thanks, everybody. And um, so I'm Cousin Chad. I love the seasons. I love the holidays. My dear cousin Seth was not celebrating and partaking enough. In these holiday festivities, I said, Cousin Seth, he said, Cousin Chad. I said, Cousin Seth, he said, dude, I got a tattoo. I said, dude. <laughs> and then, uh, where was I, Seth? So yeah, we got stuck in a loop that got <laughs> sidetracked somewhere else. <laughs> time loop, too, a mm-hmm. time space continuum wormhole. But anyway, I digress. We digress. We do that on this yes, show. We do. But uh, I said, Seth, let's follow your journey. Let's go through the seasons, the holidays, do all these fun, festive activities. We've garnered quite a following. We've made a lot of friends a lot of, along the way. We've had a lot of fun. So that's what the Christmas Cousins podcast is. If you haven't listened before, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Seth. Yeah. What is the latest count? I know you hand count all of our listeners. What is our latest account? Let's get a drum roll going. What number are we up to in terms of listening? I think you're going to like this because we actually had a Fairly sizable jump today, putting us at 2.873 million listeners. Unbelievable. <laughs> but Seth, last week we were at 27 million. Now we're at 2.873. I'm sorry, 28. 28. I apologize. I, I, I always do that. Oh, yeah. No nice. Okay. Yeah, so, nice I say, I'm at a considerable fall off. <laughs> Yeah, 28 million. <laughs> I apologize. And shout out to our, our uh, listen, uh, one of our listeners from Ireland, Sean McCormick, who we uh, saw listening to the uh, Joe the Christmas aficionado live. That was cool that he was also a big uh, Christmas Cousins fan. So thank you. I love cool. seeing that international from all over. But Cousin Seth, before we get into the movie real fast, mm-hmm. you promised to drink 18 PSLs by October 31st. This is now October 23rd, nine days to go. You were at 12 to go recently. I have a feeling you're at 12 to go. Cousin Seth, give us the uh, the breaking news. What number are you at? Everyone, please. Uh, that has not moved at all. <laughs> um, although, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I don't know. It just... It's getting colder. I know I keep going to that. It's getting colder. So maybe that's going to spark. I'm just, I don't know. Are you bailing? Are you not going to make your 18 by the 31st? That's that's my question. I don't know. I don't think I... Are you too punk rock? (laughs) Do it. I mean, that's eight days from now. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I have to... (laughs) It's... um, it's not one of the a couple of the days we have to double up. I don't know. Can we reevaluate? I don't know. Reevaluate. Can, can I just drink one more and be done with this? I mean, it's up to you, Seth. You did make a promise to all of our millions and millions of listeners and the Christmas cousins community out there. They'll be pretty disappointed. I mean, I'm oh, worried. Yeah. You know, I'm worried that there could be you know riots, people going wild oh, in the no, streets. The car exploded. You know that punk song, The Wild on the Streets. That's a great uh-huh. one. It's like, Wild in the Streets, running. That's what's going to happen, Seth. So, Complete uh, anarchy? I think it I might be it total anarchy, which maybe that's what you want. I don't know, Seth. So No, no. Oh. Are you going to guilt me into drinking the other 12? Oh. <laughs> Here's Seth. Walking it open. All right. Non-stop. Wait, aren't you taking a long drive this weekend? 
with Mrs. X. That gives you a lot of time to drink PSLs. Get them decaf. Uh, yeah, it's not the cat doing it, but <laughs> you heard it's it. He says, yeah, everybody, we got it. Oh, I'm sorry. locked in. Oh. You're locked in. I'll try, let me know. I'll try to knock out a couple this weekend. I think I can get <laughs> two done this weekend. Okay. Two. Okay. Yippee! I'll have a time next week. Okay. Well, uh, you keep us updated, Seth. I will. I'm very I'll... excited. You're going to smash the record. Uh, and I hope you don't let us all down. I hope that's not the case, Seth, because you're our champion. Hey, yeah, maybe if we had like a benchmark of like what the average consumer is, maybe 18 was just too high. Maybe. That's a good question. What is the yeah, average? I'm going to start backpedaling trying to get out of this right now. <laughs> you know what else I'm thinking? It's probably not good to have that much in your system over such a short <laughs> period of time. Yeah, we don't want to kill you, Shay. Yeah, yeah. Shay, you can't do it. Yeah. Yeah, what's going on here? Yeah, what are you trying to kill Cousin Seth? Shay, it's hey. on me. It's on me. So, all right, Cousin Seth. Well, you let us know. You have fun at uh, uh, Toledo. I know you said you're going to be looking for some good Christmas stores on your road trip with Mrs. X this weekend. Uh, yeah, on the way. Hopefully, we'll uh, we'll see some stuff. So, yeah, my eyes my eyes will be peeled. Will you be buying ornaments that say Toledo, Ohio? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm sure. Um, yeah, I, I say I'm sure we'll go by some place that has ornaments, but I'm almost certain that we're going by somewhere that has ornaments. Right. So. And you think, uh, yeah, Toledo one would be that's one you've always wanted to have a Toledo, Ohio ornament. Hopefully, there's one there. Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> I can't he think of a more perfect place to get one. Fingers crossed and caught himself. <laughs> See, you're learning. You're becoming a true broadcaster, Seth. I right. love it. So where were we? We are here to talk about these movies, Seth. It's not all about you every second, you know. I so know. Yeah. we have four movies. This is the first week with the Thursday night movie as well, the Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. So we're starting with this one. Is going, it looks like fun. It's called This Time Each Year. So This Time Each Year starring Allison Sweeney and Niall Matter. Once happily married and thriving as a family, a couple in the midst of a trial separation are working hard to co-parent their young son. Nothing like co-parenting, trial separation, once happily married to spark those Christmas vibes. Right. Yeah. <laughs> back to this. I love that the new one comes on Thursday night, though. It's like, you know, the pre-early weekend kickoff. I, I know a lot of people like this Niall Matter. Uh, every movie I see him in, I don't love that much. I know he had that good one last year where he was like calling in with the turkey making thing, um, which was good, but not great. I don't know. Allison Sweeney's good. But this being the first Thursday movie of the year, this is week two already. I am in. Um, Seth, what are your thoughts? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, it's after a, a great previous weekend. Um, this is a... <laughs> I don't know how you bring light and excitement and joy during a time of trial separation. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, uh, a lot of our listeners have not gone through that, but <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, like very heavy, it's like a heavy, very heavily layered premise. Yeah, so, but yeah, it's a lot going on, right? Well, will you watch it from the hotel or something while you're away, or will you be too busy partying, painting Toledo red? As they say, okay, okay. Yeah. I it goes down there, yeah. It does. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I'll watch it this weekend. I will have some time. Okay. I'll have some time to knock out a few movies. So okay, and fill us in. Last week you watched Twas the Day Before Christmas. We know that if you're listening and you haven't heard yet, we have a fantastic mm -hmm. review of that with Joe the Christmas aficionado and Casey from At the Heart of Reviews, the Hallmark movie expert. Um, that was a really fun show. Seth did, um, oh, and by the way, if you're listening, can we get a rating and a review? Well, we need to read some new reviews. I want to read some on air. I haven't checked lately, but mm -hmm. I can't recall seeing any last time I checked at least. So, Seth, um, did you watch the other movie, not the Scouting for Christmas, but the Holiday Crashers movie? Uh, I have not. No. <laughs> it's that. It's a good one. I think you'll like it. It's fun. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You guys, uh, you and uh, Mr. Aficionado, Joe. Because we're uh, raving about it. So, yes, and I watched it with cousin wife Leslie, who doesn't love all these, and she really liked it too. So I think uh, that's a good sign. So, okay, absolutely. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, next one, Friday night, Operation Nutcracker, Friday, October twenty fifth. Now this is weird. 
because this one was already on, I believe their app, like the Hallmark Movies Now app. So this is like a preview on the Hallmark channel, but it was on their app, I think this summer or something, or maybe last year. Um, and it debuted on Hallmark Movies Now as part of Christmas in July. So oh yes, yeah, so okay, like... that's what it was, right, Christmas in July. So it doesn't say what it's about. Now, Christopher Russell, he's he's pretty good. He was the one last year. He was like a house renovator guy towards the end. Two okay. years ago, he played like a hunky guy who was like colorblind. So he's like, I'm hideous. I'm colorblind. He like put his colorblind special glasses on. He was like a model. It oh, really? Like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Like in the movie, they're like, I'm hideous. And they like pull out the pigtail, like one of those kind of things. Okay. Um, but it was good. But Ashley Newbro is uh she's fantastic she's in small town yeah. christmas which as you okay. know is one of my favorites too that yes was, i've was, heard that name several times mostly coming from you but yes <laughs> so she's really good i have not seen operation nutcracker yet friday mm. night i actually uh i will watch this i don't know if i'll watch it at friday on friday night or not but i will be watching it so that's uh we're on friday now here this one's interesting i want to get your thoughts on this one Saturday night, the Christmas charade, or as you say, charade, uh, stars Rachel Scarston, Corey Sevier, a cautious librarian. You probably remember, I don't know if you remember this reading about this, the write up. A cautious librarian raised by home security experts who finds herself in a real life adventure when a blind date mix up leads her into an undercover FBI operation. Can you get the Christmas feel, Seth? Right. Wants to pose as the girlfriend of Special Agent Josh. She helps him track down an art thief targeting the St. Nicholas Ruby at a Christmas Eve charity ball. Seth, this is like an action thriller Christmas movie like The Rock has one coming out, which we will be covering. The yes. red one, which looks really good, actually. That's it fun. We'll cover awesome. that. I want to see that in the theaters. What do you think about the Christmas charade, Seth? Yeah. I mean, even though the storyline, yeah, I mean... It's a uh, action adventure, which will be a nice change of pace, I think, from the you know usual Hallmark movie. Um, okay. It'll be interesting to see how they do it. Um, I have to imagine a lot of the scenes will be. I mean, everything will be decorated for Christmas, so you'll you'll get that. <laughs> um, mm, okay, but yeah, yeah, I'll see it. Uh, yeah, okay. I'll watch it. Okay. I'm excited for it. That's this Saturday. Okay. That is Saturday night. Remember, we have to pick one of these four to cover. So keep that in mind, too. Um, I, for me, uh, I don't want cautious librarians. I don't want home security experts. I don't want FBI. I don't want agents. I don't want art thieves. I want snowball fights, hot cocoa making, gingerbread, snow, blizzards. This one, that's a no for me. I'm not into it right now, but, but we'll see what happens. Um, yeah. Give it the 15, 20 minute uh, shot, but yeah, I don't know. Now, this one is intriguing. The five-year Christmas party. Do you want to read this one, Seth? Do you have it up? Uh, Sunday, October 27th, starring Katie Finlay and Jordan Fisher. I have no idea who either of them are. Uh, <laughs> oh, each holiday season for five years, former high school theater rivals Alice and Max reunite in Chicago to work at a catering oh. company's Christmas parties. While their undeniable chemistry grows, the timing is never right for romance until the company finds final season pushes them to confront their true feelings. As they say goodbye to the job that brought them together, they might finally find love in the most unexpected way. Um, yeah, I, I can say I bored myself. <laughs> no. At the same time, I dropped out of therapy. I was like, I'm <laughs> sick of talking about myself. I got nothing else. Um, <laughs> What do you uh, think? And this is Chicago. It looks like it takes place in some bars, um, confronting feelings. Is this about you, Seth? <laughs> exactly. I didn't want to say anything, but um, <laughs> I might have snuck a script in. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't. I mean, yeah, I like they're in Chicago. As soon as I read that, I was like, oh, great. It's in Chicago. I'm like, yeah, it's going to hate it. Because it, <laughs> it sounds like, I mean, the whole thing is. Presumably going to take place in Chicago, I guess. Right. Now, let me ask you, you said last week you were watching Twas the Day Before Christmas, and as you were watching, you are saying, oh, cousin, I think Cousin Chad will like this, or Cousin Chad won't like that. Yes. So, okay, so. I guess <laughs> yeah, I know. Clivities for these, what I like and what I don't like. Well, I, I know, I mean, uh, obviously a movie or a scene that's 
got a lot of Christmas to it. It gives you that Christmas feel. And through the whole movie, um, yeah, you, you don't want it to take place in the city. Maybe it can start off there and you you'll you'll <laughs> take that under protest. <laughs> <laughs> right. They need so, five minutes, get in the airport. Right. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. A rush scramble out of town is perfect for you. You're like, good, right. good. So we buy car through snow covered mountains. That's the best way to do it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, so, okay. So this is each holiday season for five years. So this has an arc over five years. Now towards the day before Christmas all took place in like one and a half or one day, basically. So this right. is over five years, which is interesting. What do you, so, so now we have the four Thursday, Friday, mm-hmm. Saturday, Sunday. Let's pick our movie that we're going to cover this week. I know Christmas cousin Mary emailed and said, I'd like you guys to let us know what movie you're going to be covering so I can watch it and then enjoy better your review. And, nice. and uh, we'll be doing that next week too. So that's what we're doing every week for these 10 weeks, which is fun. It's already week two, which is still fun. By the time it gets yeah. like week eight, it's going to be like, oh my gosh, this has gone too fast. But, I just saw something, what, 63 days till Christmas? Really? That's nuts. <laughs> that's crazy. It's like Christmas it is. is at the door. It is. Yeah. Don't answer to the nuts for that. It could be Christmas at that door. <laughs> you know. You never know who's going to walk in. It's the Halloween. Oh, no. What's going on in there, Seth? Jeez. Oh, no. <laughs> Having some work done. Yeah, okay. There we go. Seth just ran out. So, Seth, between the four yeah. movies, this time each year, Operation Nutcracker, uh, the, what's the other one, The Christmas Charade, or The Five-Year Christmas Party, what is your vote? for what we cover. Uh, all right. Um, oh, wow. Well, I don't think we should do Operation Nutcracker. Um, okay. It played over mm-hmm. the summer. People probably saw it. Whether well, they liked it, they may tune out. I may tune out. You may tune out. <laughs> um, totally agree. I am interested in it, but I totally agree. It's not a true debut. So it's probably already been covered a thousand times too. So yeah, right. um, Seth is doing this by the process of elimination. This is fascinating. Yes, let's see how this goes. Okay. Uh, that's all I got. There's the art um, thief movie. Is that yeah. interesting for you? I'm gonna say it comes down to the what is it? This time each year, or. Okay. Uh, uh, the, the, the five year uh, Christmas party, yeah, it'd be nice. You know, you're not gonna love it, but well, it might be cool. Sethi, I am 100% agreement with you, and I couldn't oh. decide either. Now, okay, between the two, so I guess I'm casting the deciding vote because we agree on the two, or do you want to say which one do you have a preference between the two? Um, no, I really don't. It, yeah, I'm, I'm easy okay. either. All things being equal, the we are, we'll record this on on Monday. So if we do the five year Christmas party, we have to watch it all in real time Sunday night. The one on Thursday, we could watch in parts maybe if it's not great, or watch you know record it and not have to watch the commercials. But yeah. that being said, I'd rather between the two. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for. Seth, I think we should cover because it's so unique. Indifferent. We should mm-hmm. cover the five year Christmas party. Really? Yeah. Wow, that's a bold move. <laughs> well, I have a beloved cousin in Chicago. I'd uh-huh. like to, your take on it will be really interesting, right? Maybe we can have festive cousin Bob come on and do a review. That could be fun because he's a Chicago guy. Maybe you guys will yeah. know Harry things. Um, so something like that could be fun. And I like that it's over five years. I want to see how they do that. It looks, and it's a five-year Christmas party. So if we're judging, are we going to watch a five-year Christmas party or a five-year trial separation? Which one's going to be more fun? Yeah, yeah, true. So, all right, that's it. Oh, that's yeah. going to be a five-year Christmas party Sunday night. Right. I mean, I will be watching the one on Thursday. I will yeah. be checking out Operation Nutcracker. I will probably be giving it a pass on the other one i don't even care if people say it's good because i just don't want to see like a like action and art thieves and stuff they had one with um uh was it a few years ago i forget um 
uh, whatever. But anyway, I didn't like it. They were like at a stakeout, the Santa stakeout, I think it was called. And okay, like, I don't know, you know, like like theft and things like that on Christmas. Well, here I'll throw you a curveball right now. It might uh -oh. blow your mind. <laughs> Why don't? <laughs> to take a little uh, responsibility for my being around here. Um, uh -oh. How about I watch? Well, I'll, I'll do, we'll do Sunday night. You're like, oh, this is great. I'm committing him to something. He's doing it to himself. <laughs> yeah, keep doing the shooting sound. It's perfect because what I'm doing to my foot right now. <laughs> um, all right, so we'll do five year Christmas party. It's decided. You're going to give um, yeah. uh, Operation Nutcracker the, the ah! sniff test. Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, I'll, I'll probably watch it. I will watch the Christmas charade and report back. Cheers. Oh. We we can do oh. that as a separate episode or, um, wow. yeah, a roundtable yes. discussion, whatever whatever format you want to use. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay. I know. Isn't Zach right? committing himself? This is wonderful dedication to the show. Only one hundred and sixty something episodes in. <laughs> yeah, like, is right. this initiative? <laughs> I think that's what this is. I think so. Um, yeah, I remember you did something with our specific cousins uh, where I thought you took the initiative of it, and then it turns out you didn't actually take the initiative. You were put, pushed and cajoled by someone else. Oh, yes, that. yes, I was a pawn. I was absolutely a pawn. <laughs> I was like, do you want to put your hand up there? I'm, I, I'm your puppet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't have to go in into specific, but that was funny. I was so proud of you. I'm like, well, Seth set that all up by himself. And <laughs> turns out you did it. But are you going to be uh, singing that drunk karaoke in Toledo? That's your jam. I have a feeling it's got to be somewhere in my brain, just permanently there. <laughs> yeah, come it's up there for sure. <laughs> All right. Well, I love that idea. So you're going to watch that. You're going to report back. Yeah. Maybe you'll report back and maybe we'll have on like Joe, the Christmas aficionado, because we know he's going to watch all these if he's interested, oh, of course. Yeah, true. And I will sit back not having watched it and I'll just kind of ask questions. And you guys can tell me about it and I can determine if I'll watch it or some kind of fun game. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's do it. I don't know. Okay. Right. So the five-year Christmas party, everybody, thank you so much. Please give us a rating and review. It takes a minute. If you're still listening 23 minutes in, Give mm -hmm. us a minute of your time, please, and write us christmascousinspod at gmail.com. That's christmascousinspod at gmail.com. Or find us on Instagram and Facebook at Christmas Cousins Pod. Cousin Seth runs the Facebook. So yeah. you want to talk to him directly? Hit him up. I run yeah. the Instagram. You also want to talk to Seth? Hit me up on Instagram and I'll I'll track him down. Don't worry. So and I many, I many much, ways. Just, yes, exactly. I, I I field your emails about you all day long and messages, Seth. It's like my full-time job. But Audience, thank you for joining us as always. Yes, thank you, everyone. Cousin Seth, thank you for making it a party. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you for hosting and, and bring your special little uh, flair to it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> DJ extraordinaire. <laughs> yeah, baby. All right, thank you, everybody. We'll see you next time.